putting a coda on a year of space triumphs, those stunning images from the James Webb Telescope, forcing a rethink of the vastness of our universe and whether we're alone. In the next 10, 20, 30 years, we're going to have data that's really relevant to this question. We could have an answer about whether or not there's life in the universe. Splashdown. 2022 brought splashdown for Orion after a 25-day Artemis mission to orbit the moon. A shakedown flight before a human crew orbits the moon, then lands on the moon in 2025 or 26. I can bounce gently in this spacesuit and, uh, and not... Uh, very unlike what I can do on Earth. At a NASA training pool with sand and rocks on the bottom, astronauts are already practicing future moonwalks. This is very similar to what the Apollo astronauts did in preparation for their missions to the moon. They've got to try to replicate what it's like on the south pole of the moon, where the sun is very low right in your eyesight, but everywhere else, it's pitch black. NASA wants to land on the South Pole, where there are signs of ice, potential drinking water, and most importantly, rocket fuel. Meanwhile, after years of setbacks, Boeing is hoping to finally launch its Starliner spaceship, which will carry astronauts to the space station in April, as Elon Musk's SpaceX launches even more rockets to the station. And another all-civilian mission, this one orbiting the moon and Earth. Welcome, everybody, to Crew Dragon Resilience. Jared Isaacman, the billionaire who paid for last year's St. Jude fundraising trip, is paying for three more space trips, a new SpaceX program dubbed Polaris. We're going to go farther into space than, than humans have gone since we've last walked on the moon. We're going to test out a new spacesuit, which includes uh, an EVA or spacewalk. The first private astronaut spacewalk, 310 miles above Earth. Yet another billionaire, Japan's Yusaku Masawa, plans to take eight more civilians on a SpaceX trip around the moon. Jeff Bezos and Richard Branson plan to launch more space tourists to low Earth orbit in 23, but it's Artemis and SpaceX that are forging a new path, poised to take humans to a higher orbit and eventually one day to Mars. It's about building a permanent base. It's about building a, um, a, a space station that will orbit the moon. It's about getting us started in terms of having fuel depots, supply depots. It's really about building the infrastructure that we'll build off of for the next 50 years, the next 100 years. So the timeline here, NASA is hoping to orbit the moon with astronauts in 2024, landing on the moon in 25 or 26, then a moon base, they hope to go to Mars in the late 2030s, but it could take up to nine months to get there, then three months on Mars, then nine months back. So you're talking about about two years, more or less. And you got to hope that the crew gets along well if they're going to be crammed together for that long. Guys, back to you. Wow, well, that sure. is really something to think about a moon base. Our thanks to Tom for that. Would you guys go to the into outer space in on one of these two seconds? Trips? You well, would? Would if a go? billionaire was paying, I could do it. I would stay right here at home. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.